That's a big question. And uh, I must say, in my humble way, I cannot answer for the whole fast-moving consumer goods uh, dimension, but I can answer for some part of the food sector. So I might start with the vision that I'm, I'm a strong believer that in 20 years people will still eat. Now, having said that, um, there will be many things changing. Uh, the consumer gets each time more skilled and that is really good because he is more careful about what he is eating. So companies with a good quality delivery and a good nutritional delivery have a better say and uh, might get the preference, which actually we are looking for that we get consumer preference for our products. But we need to work hard in making our products each time better. This is about having less salt, less sugar, about having natural uh, colorants uh, and natural aromas. It's about having uh, only healthy fats in it and in the right proportions. But it's also about having a nutritional delivery for the products, which really makes a difference. Because in the future, we want to be healthier. Uh, what came in the past was more protein that helped people to become, have a longer life. But now it's not enough. More protein is not good enough anymore. Uh, actually it can lead to obesity. So we need now to really make better food in terms of nutritional values in order to enhance people's life. Having said that, I think also the fourth industrial revolution is just incredible. This will be a big change for, for many things. And uh, just thinking about uh, how we f are doing farming today, what will this be tomorrow? Logistics. Do you have a truck driver tomorrow or not? Uh, well, Uber today or my, uh, B Taxi works in Turkey with drivers. I don't know if in 10 years we will have that. And in the industry as well, production might change big time. I think it will also change in our whole delivery to the consumer. So the consumer might order his products through apps, get it at home. Does he still go to a store? To what store? For what purpose? I heard that people today buy shoes online. They don't even try them on in the store. And uh, this, this gives us a, a certain vision that things might change big time. I think also that uh, the information, big data and other huge amount of information available will change the consumer the, the individuals, the families, how they operate, how they think, how they shop, how they, they live. Information is there. So if you don't give the right quality or the right uh, offering, you might have a problem. If your service is not good enough, they might not come back to you. You can find out how others have been uh, evaluating, uh, validating a certain service, hotels, uh, transport, and if there is a lot of likes, you might jump on that one as well. If not, you might have another choice. So that is some of the changes I think uh, will come. But there's also a change for people. I think it's a lifelong learning and it's a lifelong not only learning, but flexibility to, to adapt. I don't know if 50% of our jobs tomorrow will exist. And that might not be in 20 years. That might be in three years, or four years, five years. So if your experience is big, great. You can be flexible and you can adapt to the things. If you are rigid, as we said before, you break. You might need to be really resilient, anti-fragile, in this sense, capable to do many different things and uh, hopefully each time better so that you compete in a successful way. And that is about companies, that is about uh, individuals, that's about anything which will happen. I think the, the, the challenge to performance will, will become bigger.